I tell you, bro, like, you know, you're one of my go- good favorite players is because, like, also what Jack Marucci said, shout out to Jack Marucci, um, how you adapt, because that's what it's going to take to survive in the league. You got to adapt to the situation. You got to be able to adapt to different coordinators coming in, being able to play different positions. You know what I mean? Like, the more you can do is real shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the more multiple positions, the more you can adapt to a scheme. Cause I mean, hell, some like when I was in New England, some, 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 some every every game plan was different. Every single game plan for every team was different. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn a different game plan every. So it's not nothing's translating. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think that's gonna help. And you're a dog. You're you're an intelligent guy. But what about Matt House? That one thing about him that that has surprised you. Anything that surprised you about him? Yeah, crazy. Cause I was committed at Coach House at Kentucky in high school until the LSU offer. That's when I decommitted. He was hot too, boy. I yeah, know he was he hot. Was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was hot. Let me ask you this: So, what about him has surprised you? I mean, anything? Yeah, playing me at different roles and mm. how he how he using different people on defense. Like you see more people standing out. Utilizing you guys' strengths. What was that first? Uh, have y'all talked about that? Like, coach, you know you recruited me at Kentucky, or has he said anything like that since y'all? Since he's been there. When he got a job, I was like the first person he called. <laughs> <laughs> you congratulated him. What would he say? He like uh, he said he said this happened to him and another player before, and he glad that like, it was meant to be for us. Yeah, to be together. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, so you felt like, you know what, I'm going to be all right in this defense. The head, the head guy done called me, gave me a little something. They gonna, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how I would feel if I was, like, the quarterback and the OC called me and was like, man, I tried to get you at Kentucky, woo de woo You know, I'm happy I'm back with you. Let's, let's, let's do some things together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like, bro, I've been a fan of his um, – when he was in the league, you know what I'm saying? I've heard Teron Matthew talk about him a lot, but he and, – and I think he's shown it over over the last five games. Y'all, I mean, y'all have been definitely the most consistent unit. It always takes offense a little bit longer. We all know that, the jail and all the shit that's going on with the quarterbacks and you got young offensive tackles and all so on and so forth. But I think that he's done a good job with you guys, especially – Growing, growing. Y'all seem like y'all continuing to grow and continue to open up the playbook. Dog, his, is his blitz package, if you was a quarterback, would you want to face his blitz package? No, I wouldn't want to face it at all. You want to know who coming. That's, what what that, that's why I ask it because from a quarterback perspective, when I look and see how y'all, especially how y'all are using BJ and uh, and uh, Gay uh, and then using – Perk, the coming sound, a lot of them twists and stuff that y'all are doing. It's it's, and all those guys move so fast, bro. You know, it's it's um like I love what y'all are doing with the blitz packages. I like how y'all like y'all evolving with the blitz packages. Let me ask you this: What's the what's what's what? Or it may not be none. It may not be none because I think you know. What's the one thing you think that you as a player? would love to continue to improve on or something that you work on. Because, you know, all the greats, and you're going to be a great, bro, like all the greats, whether they, you know, all have all the accolades or whatever, going to the off season or getting ready for, you know, the combine and things of that nature, you always know what you need to work on as opposed to what you're great at, and you just enhance that. You know what I mean? So if you had to – I mean, fuck, you're a DB, so it's always footwork and all that. Yeah, but I'm what – Like my technique, I feel like – Yeah. You can't never just, like, get enough of that. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. Now, we're going to talk about coming up. Yeah, I got Tennessee coming up, baby. <laughs> Tennessee coming up, baby. Uh, a program a lot of people think are back. You know, when I was playing, Tennessee was a top-notch program. Mm-hmm. Uh, fell off after the great four former uh, long-time coach exited there and they've been struggling ever since but shit you know last year they got some momentum built some momentum now and coming into Tiger Stadium it's a damn early kickoff which I hate that but it's an early kickoff 11 a.m. or 11.08 or 11.12 whatever damn time they think 
that we're gonna kick it off. But first, how you feel? You, you is this the earliest game you've played in? Eleven o'clock? No, this ain't. No, we played early. I think Missouri. We played Missouri in twenty twenty. What time that was? I think that was like ten. Ooh. How you feel about early games? I mean, it don't matter to me. I wake up ready to play. <laughs> yeah, I wake up energized. Though. Ready to go. So you are you are uh, early riser. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, hell, answers the question about that. I should have known that, baby. And, and 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 so Tennessee coming in. I'm gonna be real with you. Ain't nobody expecting y'all to win. You know that, based on their rankings. Based on where we are as a program, or what people think we are as a program, right? Mm-hmm. Um, all that, but you already know. Don't it don't give a damn what nobody else think as long as y'all inside that locker room yeah, believe. That, that rank that ranking don't mean nothing. You already know. You still gotta come and ready to play on Saturday. Any concerns about Tennessee? No, I ain't got no concerns. No concerns about what they do on offense. No player. I mean, they put their cleats on just like me. I know. I'm just talking about as far as like from a playing, you know what I'm saying? Like from a playing from a playing standpoint. I ain't talking about like from, you know what I'm saying, like whether or not. But you know, when you come out there, you know what they do well. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. You know they got a talented quarterback. They yeah, can throw the football. Like the wide receivers, like yeah, they talented guy. So that's what I'm saying. Like, for you guys to come out with the win, what and I ain't trying to tell you, to, don't tell the game plan because mm-hmm. they, they some guns, they probably watch this too now. So we don't nah, want the game, the plan. game plan. But as far as like, any, what are the concerns defense? Like, like for example, like for me, right, I'm facing uh, uh, Tennessee. Or I say we can't let the quarterback like make right. make big plays. With his feet or on both of them? On both. So he, yeah, he can do both. He can slang and he can run. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's what I'm talking about, limiting him. So it's just like last week when you guys played um, Auburn, mm-hmm. yeah, Ashford, right? From my perspective, the biggest the biggest difference between do, those two quarterbacks is the guy from Tennessee is a better passer. He's a way better passer of the football. Because the difference between throwing the ball and passing the ball, like from a quarterback's perspective, right? So – He's a much – the guy from Auburn, he can throw the ball. And he's a young guy. He's going to get better. But this kid from Tennessee, he's a better passer of the football. He has a better presence in the pocket as far as I can throw from the pocket. Like, he's a – he's more ready as far as, like, an NFL quarterback than, say, the guy from Auburn. But just as talented when, like, running the football. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm a firm believer in, like, you got to know what you're facing, know uh, their strengths and weaknesses to be able to disable that. It's like last week from a defensive perspective, I figured that y'all would pressure it to a certain point because you want to keep his ass in that damn pocket, don't have him get out and all the big plays. And that's what happened. He got the big plays when he got out of the damn pocket. You know what I'm saying? But this guy y'all facing this week, you throw it from the pocket, but you also don't want to let him get too much going in the run game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a whole different animal y'all facing this week, but kind of similar in the run game, but the pass game. So how do you guys go about staying attached, you know what I mean, to these receivers? You got to stay attached at some point, especially when they break the pocket. And I always wonder, like, because we have, offensively, we have scramble drills. You know what I'm saying? So do y'all on defense, like when a guy starts scrambling, do you have one safety go deep, one safety come shallow, one you know what I mean? I I lock on the nearest person. That's closer. I okay. Like to make sure he don't he don't get the ball. Okay. Okay. But if you're in the middle of the field, you better stay in the middle of the field. If that's your if that's where your work If that's your you got deep, you stay deep. You stay deep. I got you. Cause you know a lot of broken plays happen when the quarterbacks are running around and scrambling and get outside the pocket and so on and so forth. But let me ask you this. How uh how great are y'all front, bro? Cause I think y'all front seven is really, really good. I know Ma- big big mace went down, but uh how how much especially when y'all go to these blitz packages, 
how quick do you expect that ball to come out based on what your front is, what your front's doing? Because, I mean, Mingo, Jack, BJ, all of, I mean, they get to that ball fast. They get down here fast, bro. Ali Gay, them boys get down here fast. So when y'all got it dialed up, do you do you know like okay, I'm gonna sit on this a little bit because I know that ball about to come out. Is there any thought process like that? I ain't gonna lie. Once, <laughs> once they once they line up and I know they're going. Yeah. The ball coming out fast. Yeah. Cause you 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 can't hold them. That's what I'm saying. You can't hold all three of them. That's what I'm saying. So I know that ball coming out quick. And you get anticipate or want to jump a route to to be able to change the game. That's 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 kind of like that play. What's three? What's three names? Greg. Greg, Greg they make, Junior. They make us look great on the back end. Yes, yes, yes. A, a, a front like that. That's why I asked you the question. A front like that only makes y'all look good because you you ain't got to cover for long. Not for long. You ain't got to cover for long, and sometimes. You covering and that ball coming out and that receiver don't even see the ball coming out, but you see it because you know what kind of front you got. So that's that's dope. Shout out to Jaqueline and, uh, and BJ. BJ always in here anyway. Shout out to BJ, Jaqueline, <laughs> man, all them boys, man, Ali Gay, uh, Mingo. I'm gonna tell you, I watched Mingo closely for the first time this weekend. I ain't lying. I watched him for the first time closely. That's not even two, right? Mingo. <laughs> Wingo, my bad, dog. No disrespect, be dog. Tell, tell him no disrespect. You know, I had a little bit of a, a, a little crown, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but I watched him for the first time this weekend closely, dog. And that kid has a motor. That kid fucking make plays, dog. Him and Jack, like that kid. I, I am so impressed with 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 uh, that kid, dog. He make a lot of damn plays. And he make a lot of plays, like dirty plays. You know what I'm saying? Like plays where you don't think a defensive lineman is supposed to get that type of pressure. Because you don't – He, I look at him as a run stopper, but he's like in that new age shit where he can also run a tackle. He's, he's a fantastic player. Y'all got a lot of good players, dog. They got a lot of good players. And I think that's why I think y'all have surprised some people with the record. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this. And I know you say you don't care and, you know what I'm saying, that and that. But honestly, from a – let's go back to the last game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, strip sex, few score by you, starts it off, right? What you were seeing on that? What you Because that thing looked like it, it was about to bounce away from you, dog, and you scooped it up. And took it on in. I mean, once once I seen that BJ had stripped him, like we do the drill every day, so it's just natural. Strip drill? It's just natural. Like, when the ball popped up, I just grabbed it. I ain't really know that the ball was still alive until I passed it off of the lineman. Oh. Like, oh I ain't blow the whistle. Yeah. You ain't hear no whistle. Yeah, I ain't hear no whistle. That oh, was okay. I running. So, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so strip sack by you. Strip sack, touchdown. Uh. Four turnovers. You got four, four turnovers by Auburn. Four turnovers. Also scored by you. Um, offense was stagnant at best in the passing game. Man, I mean, a whole way. Now, we talk about they got outside the pocket and got a big numbers passing the football because Ashford got outside the pocket and got loose. Um, so, we come off of that and to bring up that point. So a lot of people, you know, when we come in here, we are gonna talk that real. Mm-hmm. A lot of people may think that y'all escaped. No, nah, like one thing about it, one LSU play Auburn, that always a good game. Like I told the DBs, like now DB stuff. I said to beat Auburn uh, defense, we, gonna, we need turnovers and we are gonna have to score. It's a hundred percent. You're hundred percent correct. That game is always crazy. Never I mean, it's always crazy. Go back the way before you, before me, when it was fire going on in the stadium behind when they was playing. You know what I'm saying? So it's always crazy. When I had it, we had a 9-11, and it got pushed back to the last game of the season, the 9-11. You know what I'm saying? So it's always crazy. So I always think that even if you go in to that environment and win, it's a, it's a, 
fucking great win. And they win the SEC, anything. They win the SEC. But let me tell you this. So, I think that this, and you can tell me if I'm wrong or I'm not. So, I just laid it out for you what the masses think. And I know they think that. But, now you come in, and you know, y'all got that gauntlet. We call it that gauntlet all the time. You run that gauntlet when you start off with Auburn. Then you go to where y'all going now with Tennessee. Then you go to this. Then you go to that. Then you mm-hmm. get that body. Then you go to Bama. You know what I'm saying? We ain't looking forward, but I'm talking about like, that's the time, like this meat and potato time of the season is when we all get judged by. It was the same I got judged by, how you run this gauntlet with SEC, 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 SEC. You know what I'm saying? Back to back to back to back. And I think y'all getting battle tested, honestly, for that for that shit to be able to run that gauntlet. How do you feel about this game this weekend as a statement game for you guys? And now listen, now I don't think Auburn. It was a road statement, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. I do. I believe that. Anytime you can win an Auburn, anyone on the road, it's a tough win. Pull that shit up. But you already know, in order to sustain in the SEC, you have to establish home dominance. You know what I'm saying? And to me, and everybody, this is your first home test where you have a formidable opponent coming in that's there on their way trying to do some things as well. They're trying to rebuild their program. They're trying to get Tennessee back to where it needs to be. I honestly think that I know a lot of people may say that it's more important for y'all, for LSU, for us, to beat Tennessee. And I do. I think in the Brian Kelly era, is that it's the first time. Everything y'all doing is first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. Everything y'all doing is first. It ain't going to never change. Everything y'all doing is first. But I think that because of who we are and Tennessee coming in, I think that they want to come in and say we beat LSU. And we back. You know what I'm saying? I think that a win for them, I don't think nobody think Tennessee bad. But I think if Tennessee come in and say, I don't give a damn what we rank, where we are. Our program name from what we've done over the last decade says it all. So for them to come in here on the road in Tiger Stadium and win, I think would boost them. Would that fucking ego would go through the do- roof so much more? You know what I'm saying? Because they're thinking that this would propel us into another realm. This is gonna propel us up there with the Alabamas and the this and the that, and kind of like we're back. You know what I mean? If we didn't beat LSU, so for you guys in the Brian Kelly era. And you know everything is going to be a first. And, like, do you guys look at this as, like, this is a statement game for us with them coming in here, the high rank, the top ten ranking, you know, the this, the that, all this, the expectations that they have to go on to the SEC championship and all that bullshit that they got going on. As a player, I know how I look at it, but I'm asking you, how would how do you look at this weekend as far as, like, from a team from a team's perspective? I look at it like this, like Tennessee, they rank, but I ain't care about that this weekend. Like we LSU, we like we the standard, so they finna come in and try to prove something. To y'all. And then again, we ain't we what rank twenty five. We got something to prove. Like a lot of people down us, so we got something to play for. Does is that something that the whole team like? Is that something that the whole team understand or y'all talk about or? You know what I'm saying? Like, we could get our props up on these boys this weekend by showing, you know what I'm saying, get our reputation up by showing these boys that, yeah, we 25, y'all, whatever y'all is, but, you know what I'm saying, we coming back too, or we back, we here, we ain't never left, whatever it is. I say majority of defense, that's how we play, like, we got something to prove. We really try to leave our, uh, give it our all every, each and every play. Is that a, is that a, uh, what's the, is that a Matt House attitude? Nah, I ain't gonna say that, but that's just how I carry myself. Yeah, yeah, and as one of the leaders on the team, that you know that filters down through everybody else. So everybody, offensively, defensively, everybody is expected to firmly go in here and win this game this weekend. 
You ain't say nothing, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to no gang thing, and I'm new. I know that's fucking right. I know that's right. I know that's right. So, let me ask you this. Because I always like to see what the process is with, like, the new coaches and stuff. Your introduction to Madhouse, like, y'all process of how he gets y'all the information. Do y'all have a lot of walkthroughs? Mm, not like we used to. It's had more walkthroughs. We used to with have Coach more. Over. With Coach Over, I can say Co- that. So the pro- so how how does the information as far as like okay, guys, we got this new game plan going in this week. Um, you get the game plan on Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get it on Monday. You get the game plan on Monday, and then y'all have practice Tuesday. Or Monday, Tuesday. Got practice Tuesday. So how? So once you get the game plan on Monday, and this shit's so much different now because shit, I got all this electronics and shit. So when you get the game plan, is there something that come with it to explain why we doing this, why we putting it in, like how that go? I mean, the the learn more either you can get with your coach or you can like us DBs. We meet throughout the week a lot on your own. Mm, on our own. And that's because of what? That's because of the time the NCAA put on. Where y'all, so y'all meet like in the in the, in the uh, DB room. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And so, and so it's a lot of what. Let me ask you this, dog. <laughs> what do the 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 analysts and all them? Does the analysts and all them help y'all with? Yeah, they help us out too. Okay, yeah. Like if you need help, you can like, hit them up. Yeah. Okay, Bim. If you need to like explain a coverage or what we're doing on this, what we're doing on they that, they be knowing the whole playbook. Right, right. They do a lot behind the well, scenes. Well, they should. And like they, they don't get the credit, but they do a lot behind the scenes. That's good to know. That's why I'm asking because I'm like, it's so much technology now with everything that's going on. Like I would honestly, I wish I had it back when I played, but you know it is what it is. Because everything is at y'all fingertips to be able to study, be able to learn, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So, so. How do you like Matt House? I mean, I would commit to him coming out of high school, so the adjustment was hard for me at all. For, but I'm saying, like, as far as, like, yeah, he was committed to him, but as, like, a coach now that you're in the system oh, with him. I, like, and you I could, like him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, is he a personable guy? Yeah. Because I know BK like, is a little – and now you don't have to say nothing. I don't want you to say nothing. I already know BK ain't the most um, – Friendly and all that, but I, you know, I just wonder about the rest of the guy because you know you got Cortez and a couple of other guys I've met. All those guys are very friendly, personable guys. And I know BK them from up the south, but I always wonder about how Coach House was. And he good. Coach House friendly. We used to talk to him. We used to go. On. Y'all don't have barbecues and shit at his house. Uh, no, nah, I think y'all ain't ate at his house yet. I ain't never been. Y'all ain't ate at any of the coaches' house yet. I ain't been out there. See, that's what I'm saying. I gotta, you gotta be able to go eat at the coach. If C. Ray was here, y'all would eat at his house already. No, nah, I, I, Coach House had something in his house that day. You ain't go. I ain't go. I was doing something else. Oh, okay. Well, that's good that he getting personable with y'all, man. Let me tell you something. So, what is your feeling that we gonna wrap this thing up with my boy Jay Ward? Cause <laughs> Stu took too long to get this shit up. Yeah, threw him under the bus. Took too long to get it up, and I gotta get my dog up out of here. Uh, but going forward, bro, like, and I know how you're going to continue to play. Uh, but going forward um, with the unit, I'm talking about the defense, What, where do you think that this unit could go this year? And, I, and you know, I know health and everything going toward, but with the pieces that you guys have, the players that you have on defense, you know, how do you feel that y'all could represent yourself in the SEC? Are we talking about the top? Top two, we talking about tech, because I think y'all raw. What we talking about? We can go far. I just feel like if defense get off to a hot start like we did, like second half and play like that, the first half, yeah, as long as they don't score, we win. So we can go far and and beat anybody. What's what do y'all talk about? Is like what y'all want to hold an opponent to, as far as points. I mean, the LSU standards. Will, I don't want to score at all. What's y'all target? I know y'all got a target for game. What is it? Nine. Now we ain't got no target. Not I said, no, nah, we ain't got no target. We ain't never get some scratch up. Mm-hmm. But I don't want you to score at all. Like. Right, 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 right. But you know, it's like when I was in New England, it was always okay if we, because 
every, a lot of stuff with Bill was on, not analytics, but it was on percentages before analytics. So it was just like, you know, if we hold our opponent, if we score, if we, if defensively, if we hold them to, because the standard for rushing in a game is 100 yards rushing. Mm-hmm. The standard for passing in a game is 250 and above, right? So it was always like, okay, if we limit him to 65 yards rushing and, you know, 200 yards passing, then our chances of winning the football game go up. Go now up. you're adding turnovers and all that other shit. So it was always like, like as, you know, as a passer, throwing the football, you want to average anything over 9 yards, 10 yards a pass, is, is, you know what I'm saying, is good. Mm-hmm. Now anything over 10, 11 is excellent, but you're averaging per completion. You know what I mean? If, like, if I'm averaging 11, point, 11 yards of completion, I'm going first round, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I'm talking about. Like as far as a unit defense, they always put the stats up at the end of the year. You know, LSU average whatever a total of, you know, 200 yards of offense. Fuck, mm-hmm. you averaging 200 yards of offense against y'all? We should win every damn game. You know what I'm saying? So is that that's the type of stuff like I'm saying? Does he does he have like goals like that? You know, per week that we want to reach, like whether it's two turnovers, whether it's you know, limit them to five first downs. Is there any goals like that that y'all I target? Know, like, you had a third down goal. Okay. Thing like that to get off the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was, you know, thinking because he comes from that NFL system where they have all these goals and everything like that. So let me ask you this, dog. This is the last one. We're going to get up out of here. What's your prediction for this weekend? Skull. I know you predict the win. Yeah, score. I know you predict the LSU win. I ain't talking about that. Give me a score, baby. We like to get them scores in here. We like to get them scores in here. We like to, let's get yours. Maybe we should ask Jay first, though. Because you might go back. You might You might. Oh, you yeah. might piggyback his score, though. I'm not. <laughs> Stoops, too, like that. Yeah. yeah, dog. She might piggyback your score, though. She known for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to let her go what first. What you said the did? Last week I said what? 24, 17, something like that. Or 28, 17. <laughs> I said 24, 17. Then I said 28. Did he piggyback my No, because I went score. before you, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Look at Stu. Stu already <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> Stu, you knew how it went, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, go ahead, dog. What you what you think the score gonna be this weekend? Say about twenty eight seventeen. It's gonna be close. Twenty eight seventeen is a good one. I, you know, twenty eight seventeen. I ain't gonna make my prediction right now. I just want to see what Jay was gonna say. Twenty eight seventeen a good one though. Twenty eight seventeen a good one. And shut down. Let me ask you this. And then we're going to get up out of this last one for real. For real. I know I said three times. <laughs> last one for real. What do you think the keys are to y'all winning? Like, what do you have to do defensively to date quarterback? And I ain't talking about, like, turnovers. I know turnovers are regular shit. But, like, in, a, in, the, in the scope of the game, because you know what kind of t- – kind of you already said it. You're very intelligent. You know you know what kind of guy you're facing because you said it, even with off camera, talking about his passing ability and all that. So what do you think, like, from a defensive – perspective what do y'all have to do like in the game not the big plays not the 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 45 plays that you know matter and it's not the big plays it's not the sacks it's not they what do you guys have to do consistently whether it's keep them in the pocket whether it's you know stick to whatever it is what do you think that y'all have to do consistently throughout the whole game to be able to come out with a dub defensively i say you have to limit his ability so Running is one for me. I don't want to see him run. Yeah. So I said that's the main one. Yeah. Getting outside the pocket and using his feet. Yeah. Yeah. And that's important, and I'm with you on that, because if you look, bro, like the the, the, the times that it does happen, it's all on fucking either third down, where they need to pick up the first down, Mm -hmm. or it's like first and long. When they like kind of be excuse me, second and long. When they kind of like behind in the sticks, like it was second and fifteen, and he had picked up nine. So now it was, you know what I'm saying? A manageable third down. So I think that defensively for y'all, 
y'all have to stay on task. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all got to stay on task with the sticks. And when you get them in long yardage, keep them in long yardage. When you get them in second and 15, second and 16, don't make it third and four. Keep F- yeah, it. bro. Like, and, and I, y'all could, man, listen, y'all should just come. Listen, I appreciate you coming in, big dog. Like, no you're problem. one of my favorite players. Always will be. Uh, if I don't see you again, which I probably will. Uh, good luck with the draft, bro. Good luck with everything. We here will always be a fan of yours. Anytime you're here, you come by, you want to check in. Anything you need from us in the, in the pub, anything you want to announce, anything you knew, holla at Jay, holla at us. And we here for you, bro. Like, whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? And continue to do what you do, bro. Continue to play with that heart. When you get in the league, don't change that shit. Don't change it. When you get in the league, it's different. Kind of different. Don't change that shit. Do what got you there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and uh and uh continue to be you, man. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Hey, that's Jay Ward, baby. Jay Ward. Jay Ward, baby. We had Jay Ward in the building. Uh great young man. Uh can't say enough about him. Uh they're gonna take down Tennessee this weekend. Um and uh Listen, we're going to have him back, dog. We're going to have Jay Ward back because, you know, at the end of the year or something, we're going to have my dog back. We're going to have all the favorites back in the building. Jay Ward going to get us Harold Perkins, though. He's going to get Harold Perkins up in here. You know, Jay Ward, Harold Perkins is my two favorite players. So I got one. Got to get my next one. Harold Perkins, baby, coming in the building whenever we get him in here. Maybe we got to do an NIL or something. You know what I'm saying? For them boys. No? Yeah. What do you mean, no? Yeah, we gotta do something. They got Hucko, Hucko. They need to do getting the NIL. Terry on them boy. Y'all see Hucko all over the building. Shout out to Terry on them boy. But look, thank you, Jay Ward, for coming in with Kennel. We're gonna have him back at the end of the year. And we're gonna see you next time on. Where my dog's at? Don't laugh at me, big dog. <laughs>